Good friend. No, we. Go on. Get you some. Episode 19. Go no! On. Three, no! 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 Stop it! I'm not ready. You weren't too ready. I'm not. Yes, you were. Uh. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Hi, everybody. Make some good food, talk about marriage and parenting too. Self care and budgeting and some recipes for life, yeah. Cooking Maybe we'll have some new friends tonight. Friends. Hop on there on the chat so we know that you're watching. Hi, everybody. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. Um, welcome to Cooking with Debbie. Uh, welcome to Cooking with Debbie and Friends, about a half an hour talk show that is shot right here. In my kitchen with my handsome husband Travis. Oh, stop it. Who's also my sous chef. And yeah. And my producer. And all that. And a taster. And, and the live band. And the live uh, band. Let's hear it for the so, band. Woo! So uh, every every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. we get together right here in our kitchen and we make some really good meals. I used to say really easy meals, but I, <laughs> I realized at one point it was just that Debbie was making everything look really easy. We got in a big fight. We did. We got in a big fight. We did. And he's like, well, how hard could it be, really? I'm like, ah. Four hours later. Right. First of all, you got to get your hazmat suit on to go to the grocery store. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, so today's episode, we already have some people coming hi in. Hi everybody, hi Teresa, nice to see you, and Debbie Dennison Burns, good to see you, and Kristen Marone, and Mike, Mike. Melbury, and Linda, Mike and, Mike and Linda. Hi guys, how's Illinois? Um, Missouri. Missouri, Missouri. All those start to just kind of mesh in my head. Um, Teresa, where are you located? You're not in Cali. Hey, my um, baby's here. Hi Pilar. Hi Pilar. Um... Coming in through YouTube and uh, Debbie Wheatley Ferguson. Now, uh, before we get started today, first of all, we want to say thank you for having us in your homes. Share, 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 share away. Have a watch party if you like. Um, that is always fun to do. And we also wanted to say that last week we have um, very good friends, um, Connie and Sandra from the Playroom Karaoke uh, show. And Connie contacted me and said that she has some deaf friends that want to watch the show and learn to cook and cook along with us. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Travis because he's going to tell you how you can turn on the um, captions. captions. So there are two different ways on Facebook. Facebook automatically sets up captions for you. And what we realized watching one night, that's not what I said. It was kind of close, but for the most part, you get... A general feel for what we're saying if you turn on the captions. Now it's a little bit different if you're looking at the uh, live feed on the Facebook page as opposed to on a profile. On the page you just click that little gear down below and there's a little button that says turn on captions. On a profile you have to click that gear and then it says video settings and then it'll take you to another page that lets you turn on the captions. Either way if you would like to have captions on or know someone that would like to, to have captions because maybe they can't hear what we're saying, that would be a good way for them to at least get the, the gist of what it is we're doing and saying here. Like that? Like that. Thank there you. you. Yeah. Hey. And also, if you're at work, let us know so we don't say hi to you out loud. Hey. Hi, <laughs> um, Michelle. Monica says, do you see me? Yes, we see you. Yes, you're we're like, looking right at I'm you, I'm like Monica. Miss Marianne with my mirror. Hello. She just she's passed with, away, Miss Marianne. She's here with your mom, baby. Um, do you see me? What? Oh, she's here with my mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Nice to see you. Um, I hope you're enjoying the show. And uh, if you like what I'm making tonight, let me know, and I'll bring you some over tomorrow. Um, hi, Connie. We just addressed your friends that are, are deaf, and we just explained how to do... Um, captions. How, how to do captions, and it's also posted on our Instagram. Yep, yeah, it, it's posted here, detailed instructions on on uh, how to access those um, areas. If you can't find it on your own, go to our, um, our Instagram account. And by the way, when you're there, just click subscribe. And one other thing, YouTube, actually in the description of this video, wherever you are, there's a little link that takes you to our YouTube page. To subscribe, please do that for us because we just want to <laughs> we want to get some of those viewer up on that and make sure that you get notifications. 
And BG Casas Hi, is here. Hi, BGs. Nice to see you. And Loretta said that her son is here. Her son is visiting from... It went up before I could see it. But we have Loretta, Michelle, and Teresa Rohr. <laughs> oh, here we go. From Wyoming is here with us and watching your show. What welcome. Is, welcome. Um, and Connie is here. And Connie's visiting her dad, speaking of Father's Day, in Laredo. And, uh, oh, my mom is waving. Wave to your mother in love. <laughs> Hi. Uh -huh. Oh, and Michelle said, hi, Mom. <laughs> um, so today we're going to talk about Father's Day. And uh, Father's Day is Sunday. And um, it's going to be different, of course. It's going to be celebrated differently as we did Mother's Day. A lot of us are still safer at home. Please remember, COVID is still out there. It's still out there. I don't know why these people are running around fat, dumb, and happy. Like, it's not there. It's still there. Wash your hands, wipe down your steering wheel, um, change your clothes if you are a worker that's essential and has to work outside of home. Um, wipe down your, your groceries before you bring them in. So much going on, but I'm here to get you through this. I'm here to get you through this and um, I will tell you where I find things that are cheap and easy and stretch your dollar and turn one meal into two. Um, so... Um, can I just say something on that COVID and Hi, and how people are sort of uh, relaxing? I go into an office every day. We're around each other, and then some of us that are around each other are also around other people, and and so it's real easy when you're in the same office with someone every day to sort of get a little bit lax with with yeah. uh, you know the face masks and not getting too close and things. Yeah, I can tell you it's difficult, but you have to do this because again. We're together in a small group, and then we go get into other small groups, and that's exactly how it spreads. So please just be mindful. She, please just be careful. Pretend like COVID is like glitter. You know how one person has glitter, and then everybody has glitter on them. So that okay, might be what... I like that commercial. Where do we get a cat? Where do we get a cat? The Cheeto commercial. Okay, so Travis is... So today we are making Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's is a great meal for Father's Day. You can get it in a can. It's called Manwich. You can get it in an envelope if you like. Remember, I'm the one that tells you don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. If you get your macaroni and cheese in a box, good for you. That's what you do. Um, but we're going to make it from scratch here because this is a cooking show. I've hey, it's our it. son in love. Hey, Richard. Hi, How's Richard. Going, and Chantel hopped on there too. And Christina. Hey, Chantel. Came. Hi, Chantel. I hope Richard had a nice birthday. Um, he's 50. 50! 50! Yeah. <laughs> you do it. Yeah. I can kick. No, because I'll kick you. I can you. stretch. I need to save he's all 50. my energy for the, these. Okay, so Travis is browning some ground beef. Yep. It's an 80-20 mix. He's going to pull out some of the fat, if there's any fat. Is there? Yeah, there's some water in there. I've never done it. Never? Oh, before. oh, don't. Don't turn your pot. Don't do your lid. Oh, you want to pull your lid and check like this. Okay? You don't want to put your lid over your whatever you're cooking because the condensation gets right into your food. So when you're checking your food, you want to pull your... There. Now they can see. Yeah. So you want to pull your lid away. Never check like this and let all that water go into your stir fry or whatever you're cooking because now you've got all that condensation. So do you have any... Uh... So yeah, there's there's enough in there that yeah. I need to get this out. So let's get that fat now, out. Now in, in my lifetime, I've only ever used a colander. You can use a colander a if you like. And but. But no, you're suggesting I, I want to do it your way. I no, I'm just it. saying because that is a heavy cast iron. He burned himself. Everybody take a drink. Take a drink. Mom, we, we take drinks when Travis burns himself. It happens every show. Do you? Okay. So he's going to get some of the fat out. Dish pan. I mean, not dish pan. Um, dish towels. Pot holders. Okay. So he's going to get some of that fat out of there. Um and take it back to the heat so I can give you some stuff because that's got to simmer for a while. While you were um, here, um, we're celebrating fathers and fathers are so easy to feed. They're so easy. Fish sticks. Um, one dad who watches this, RJ. Hi, RJ, if you're watching. Hi, RJ and Maria and girls, if you're watching. He said uh, he always had tater tots with his sloppy joes. I'm like, tater tots? 
I forgot about tater tots. We'll have to do that one night. And then the rest of the evening, Travis and I are like, hmm, I want some tater tots. So dads are the easiest people in the whole world to feed. Um, those of you that have seen my act, you know, I talk about it, how they just love hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. You don't have to do anything too special for Father's Day. You okay back there? Yeah, fine. Okay. Now we're gonna add half of a big onion. Half of a big onion and one diced um, one diced bell pepper. Okay. So that goes into so the I pot. So I put this on a low heat? Yeah. Because I turned it off? Yeah. Oh wait, it is still low. Okay. okay. So half of an onion? Half of a large onion, one bell pepper already diced. Now, I went to Vaughn's today, which is, um, I think it's Safeway up in Northern California. Albertsons also shares the same foods and stuff. So they do have mixtures of celery, bell peppers, onions. Um, uh, let me think what else they have. Already cut up. Don't be a hero. You don't have to sit here and chop like I do. Sometimes I go ahead and grab those ready chopped uh, items. So you have that in there? Yep. Do I cover it again or wait? No, you can leave it open now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, and this garlic, I don't know, it is strong. Um, I can't find garlic at Safeway or Vons, but I am finding garlic still at Sprouts. That's so good garlic. That's five cloves of garlic. This is that the smells recipe. good though. Yeah. I like this. I'm glad we're both eating this. Yeah. Because, and then wearing a mask. Because I'm Woo! kissing you later and I don't um, want to be the only one. Oh, Cheryl Anderson said she just made her Sloppy Joes today. You can make this Sloppy Joe mix with uh, ground, be uh, ground turkey if you like. And if you're doing that and you're Weight Watcher, then all you need to really count is your tomato sauce or your ketchup and your brown sugar. Um, we also want you to post pictures of your dads in the comment section if you can. We'll be able to see the pictures, won't we? Uh, no. Oh. Or, or email them. You guys can email them, Cooking with Debbie at gmail.com and we'll get those and we can put them on the next show. Yeah, if you have pictures you'd like to share, just let us know that we can share the pictures. No, what is I'm sorry. this? I'm, this, I'm... Is, uh, this is one, um, oh, one teaspoon of dry mustard. Yes. Go no. do it, baby. Go. That smells sweet. Why does it smell sweet? Um, I don't know. One teaspoon of chili powder. No, two teaspoons of chili powder. Yes. Got it in there? Coming. There you go. Are we watching it on your camera? Yeah, you got it right there. Two tablespoons of brown, brown sugar. sugar. Sorry. How did it Packed. You want to pack those, those tablespoons, so drop that in there. Mm. Smells good. And it's smelling good in here. Red chili flakes. Put that in there. You could have handed me like three or four of them at the same time. You're getting your steps in. Oh, is that what you're trying to do? It's not a bad idea after all the good eating I've been doing around here. <laughs> and then a cup and a half of tomato ketchup. So go ahead and put that in there. You got a spat and just stir that all up. Behind you. Thank you. Everybody good? Everybody been doing okay with this whole um, situation that we're still in? Woo! Who would have thought? Who would have thought it would take this long, huh? Um, I'm listening to some good podcasts about cooking. Um, um, home Cooked is a great one that tells you how to cook things at home with things that you find in your pantry, a lot like what I do here. And um, the other day, I listened to The Shelf Life of Beans. Man, they last forever. And, uh, and so beans are really, really good. I think it's a little hard to eat beans right now in the summer. It's a little warm, but boy, do I have some recipes going on when it gets to be um, the fall. Think we'll still be here in the fall? Nope. No? We'll be Maybe. out in the room? Maybe. It depends on if we stop hanging out with each other without our masks on. Right! Wear your mask! Wear your mask. I'm going to make deviled eggs. Had I heard RJ's comment earlier, I would have gone out and got some tater tots. You can serve your sloppy joes alongside with um, potato chips, which is probably what we're going to do. Some chips, some um, Fritos, um, uh, you know, any kind of carb you like. Uh, we're trying to watch our carbs, so we have the bun. So we and need also, to. 
I love the deviled eggs, so that's why. And I'm he gonna... does love deviled eggs. So I'm going to be making some deviled eggs. I went ahead and I went ahead and um, made my deviled eggs earlier. The best way to make deviled eggs is in a in a Instapot. It really is worth dragging that Instapot inside or pulling it forward on your counter, whatever you need to do. But eggs come out beautifully in the Instapot. They don't have that green tinge to them. But um, uh, so so do that. What? <laughs> what? Damn it, Tater Pilar Tots. Said, Pilar said she's giving me a first aid kit for Father's Day. Yeah, put some burn ointment in there. Smart ass. Uh, ha ha, burn number one. Thanks, buddy. It was actually three. So in your face, RJ. Burn myself three times. Oh, Connie loves the tots. Me too, girl. Now that's all I can think of. Thanks now a lot, RJ. Now i tots. Hey, Suzanne. Hi, hey. Suzanne. Do I need to Suzanne and Jack are here. Oh, replying is Cindy Nelson. Sherwood. Oh my God! It's it's just a uh, it's a Vegas hangout now. What? Do I need to cover that? Could you? Yes. So here's my uh, yolks. I separated my yolks. Just the yolks, folks. Arr, arr, arr. From my from my hard boiled eggs, I'm putting in some mayonnaise. A lot of you have your own. Deviled egg recipe, and if you do, please let me know. Let me know what you do the same or different. I'm putting in, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm smashing in some mayonnaise. There we go. Now they can see both. Oh, did I not do it right? No, you did. You you went to that camera. I just want to make sure that they can see your pretty face, too. Do you love my headscarf? I like it a lot. It's very sparkly. It is very pretty. I had yes. a friend, Joseph Sanders. And he uh, is taking COVID and he's been making masks by hand and he made his husband a jacket. And I said, hey, can you make me some head scarves? Because how many of you ladies have these roots just growing out and you don't know what to do with them? So head scarves are the most popular item right now as far as hair accessories. And I wanted to order off Amazon, but I didn't like the reviews I was getting. And so he made me these beautiful headscarves to match my dresses and complement my aprons. And um, they just feel good and they look good. So all that's in there is some mayonnaise. What's wrong? No, well, standing over here, I smell the, the um, mixture that you're making with the, for the deviled eggs. But when I step back there, I smell this amazing Sloppy Joe mix. It doesn't smell like the man, which that's what I grew up on. I, I've never had like homemade big uh, sloppy joes like this so this will be interesting to try it looks really good it smells so amazing right now monica is my mom still watching because if she is this is my mom's um deviled egg recipe so hopefully she's watching can see you. so to the uh the yolks i added some ma uh, mayonnaise i think we all do that and then i'm dicing up a little pickle here Mm -hmm. Put pickle in there. You can do dry mustard, or you can do your yellow mustard, or you can do a Dijon mustard, whatever you like. I think I'm going to go with um, a little dry mustard. Can you get me a teaspoon, please? Is my mom watching? It's a fun drinking game. Sorry, it's at Travis's expense. <laughs> Oh, here comes Sandra with her naughty comments already. Pilar, cover your ears. Here comes Sandra Valls with her comments. She's making fun already of taters of the best. And Debbie has yolks and huevos. <laughs> I was with my friend Yolanda. I don't know if she's here in the in the chats, but we went to Bunko and she took her her deviled eggs and she dropped a couple and she yelled out in the street. Oh no, there goes my huevos. <laughs> so Sandra was in Laredo visiting her dad. I'm going to stay for Father's Day. Is that the idea? To stay all the way through Father's Day? By the way, how cool was that that he was playing his accordion? That was so amazing. That was wonderful. You guys are awesome. Do you wanna... Can you get me a teaspoon, baby? Honey, isn't that a teaspoon? No. What is this? Is it... 
Is it a teaspoon? That's a teaspoon. Oh, it is. Can Come you on, get me bro. one smaller than this? <laughs> a small, a <laughs> teaspoon that's smaller than a teaspoon, so like half a teaspoon maybe? Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> okay. All right. This looks like a, oh, uh, that's not right. You know I can't see without glasses Neither on. Neither one of us can. Hey, is anybody getting their glasses uh, or yeah. contact lenses revamped? I'm going to put a little bit of dry mustard in there. So that is a half a teaspoon. Okay, I got it. Okay. Do you want to okay. show them what you got over there on that on that camera? Sure. Hold up what you got there, lady. So I've got mayonnaise, pickles. Some people do pickle relish if they want a sweet. Mine is savory. I'm making it the way that my mom showed me how to make it. I got a little dry mustard in there. And here's the secret. This is what my mom uses on hers, and I use it too. Curry powder. Yeah, we put some curry powder in the deviled eggs. Mmm, you can smell that. I don't know what it is about curry powder in, in, in deviled eggs. It's delicious. <laughs> the what? blind leading the blind... Yeah, you're not <laughs> wrong, Michelle. Because we can't see. Oh, so Richard got new glasses. I was wondering how that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Um, so I'm going to taste this. Like this. And show what we got over here. This is very much an eyeball recipe. In other words, you're eyeballing it. I'm going to put a little more pickle juice. Oh, my God, this smells so good. One time... Um, Pilar said to me, why don't you make us deviled egg sandwiches? And I realized, yeah, that's just egg salad, and we put a little bit of curry, a little more pickles, and it was the best sandwich. Would you be, guys be interested in a, a show about packing lunches? Because I pack a lunch for Travis every single day. And everyone's jealous. Um, RJ, right? Is RJ jealous of your lunch? It's just a sandwich. No, it's not the sandwich. It's the... Did you already make it for what? tomorrow? My you, yogurt? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay, this is what they're jealous over. Wait, my mom. It, my oh mom my loves God. that. I got to make one for oh my, my mom. Oh, my God. Look at this. Okay, so she puts the frozen fruit at the bottom. I'm going to do it like this because they need to see this. Oh, stop it. She puts the frozen fruit at the bottom, and then it just creates this... This amazing, uh, syrupy, sweet, delicious. This she it's makes frozen, a sandwich. It's frozen fruit without the sugar. Remember, we're still in a pandemic. Go down your freezer aisle. If I had a nickel for every time I told you to go down your freezer aisle, I would be rich. Go down your freezer aisle and get frozen vegetables and frozen fruit. That's what's going to last you. And they're, they're, they're picked when they're fresh and frozen. Um, so don't forget your frozen food aisle. Don't forget it either for things like ground beef and hamburger patties. We got a bunch of hamburger patties and we've just been cooking them up as, um, just ground beef, you know, uh, for spaghetti sauce or taco meat and it's already proportioned. And so we figure, yeah, we should double those portions. That looks good. Do you want a bigger plate? No. Nope. RJ said those parfaits though, right? I'm jealous of me. That's how good they look. And Joe said we are jealous. Rhea said lunches that aren't boring. Doesn't lunches it? that aren't boring, yeah. Um, so let me ask you this, and you can respond in the comments. Are you taking it with you? And if you're taking it with you, do you have some place to put it safe as far as, like, the heat? Can you keep it somewhere, a lunchbox that has an ice pack maybe? Um, lunch pack, lunches that aren't boring... Uh, you can always do your sandwich in a wrap. That's always fun. Um, salads are great. Soups, not so much in the summer, huh? Nope. So how does that look so far? And I also don't like to do, um, I don't like to do, like, leftovers and stuff at work. I don't know. I like my sandwiches. I don't mind eating a sandwich every day. Yeah, and I don't know what the rule is right now with microwaves at work, if you're sharing a microwave, how that works. Um, but I'm going to think of some lunches that aren't boring, Anna Maria. And um, Anna Maria, say hi to your grandma. Your grandma's here and your auntie. Um, and get back to you. Oh, my God. A little bit of paprika. Now, some people can put an olive. Not 
God. Let me move this out of the way. These people need to get up and close and personal with what you're doing here. <laughs> Seriously. So there's the deviled eggs. Some people put a slice of black olive. You do some things really cute with these for a party for Halloween. I will show you then what we can do. Um, hi, little Rebe, my sister said. Um, I already ate Debbie, but you, but Debbie makes me want to eat again. Um, Anna Maria says, I need you to move the comments so I see what. I have an, a lunch bag with an ice pack, but... Uh, oh. no, but no place to reheat it, is that what she's saying? Sorry, I but eating. not always a place to reheat stuff. Well, you know, actually where you could go to reheat things, Anna Maria, believe it or not, would be like a 7-Eleven or a convenience store. They would let you use their microwave if you're buying something mm -hmm. um, from that store. Um, but not, a, yeah, see, that's my challenge with Travis, too. He doesn't have a refrigerator. There's a little refrigerator there, but I've got a... Um, it's a, a lunch box that keeps everything cold, and then if I really want to keep stuff cold in there, I, I put, oh, sure, I'll have one. Try I, it. Let me know how you I didn't have one it. already. Did he have one already? Mm. That's perfect. Yeah. After all these years, she's got the right amount of uh, pickles. I never have to ask her to put anything else in. These are so good. So all this was was mayonnaise, dry mustard, pickles, pickle juice, curry powder. I didn't add salt or pepper on this at all. Some people like to do their deviled egg sweet. We're not a sweet kind of family like that. And they use um, sweet pickle relish, which I hear is good too. Um, but we like it a little savory. So you want to put that back in the fridge for later? Yeah. Let me, um, let me, let me cover it. So I turn this on to broil the buns. Oh, not yet. But two. We're going to put a little butter on those. Yeah. Where's the, oh, here's. Do you guys Travis, know that... Should we just be honest? We're going to be eating these in 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I'm going to eat those. Okay. Um, she's got the right amount of everything. You're damn right she does, Sandra. Who said that, Sandra? <laughs> um, so right before we started this show, she asked if, if I thought it was bad that we were making... What did you say? An appetizer? She actually called this meal an appetizer. So I'm going to go back to that camera again. I want you guys to look at this mixture of this meat. This does not look like an appetizer meat. And if you could smell this, all those spices together, um, this, the meat, the, the onions, the peppers. It does smell good. My mouth is watering. I had that. It's not enough. I need more food. Um, uh, I wanted to say to you guys, especially people I know, like my sister Monica and Mike and Linda and Christina, um, Sandra and her sister Connie do a playroom karaoke show every Saturday at 5 Central. And, oh my gosh, people are writing comments like, Hey, that's a song I roller skated to, or you remember your disco years, or it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and you can sing along with them, you can watch them sing, you can enter their raffles. It's so, so much fun. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, Sandra said, yeah, that's a meal. You showed it. Again, the trick with when you check your food, um, never lift it up and let all that condensation run down into your food because now you're watering it down. And you've already worked so hard to spice it up and keep those vegetables nice I've and never crisp. i that, though. It's good um, to know. Yeah. So now we're going to make a salad. Um, Do you need this? No. you need that one? No, yeah, I have everything I need. Okay. You go over there. Get out of my way. Yeah, that's good. Salad and, and uh, sloppy joes. I take care of you. I don't complain. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Has your dad logged on? I haven't seen my dad yet. So mm. Travis and I live right here in Southern California. Yes, yeah, Cindy, we need smell -a vision that's something I'm working on. We're going to get that uh, in the next couple episodes, hopefully. Travis and I um, live in Southern California, and we were, we just needed to get out of the house, boy. We needed to get out. So we went to um, the Arboretum in Santa Anita, and it was $15 a piece. And there were certain hours that we could go. 
we chose the block three to seven, I think. And it was just so nice to just walk around and decompress. And you have to wear your mask. Um, and they only allow so many people in. Well, that's but, why it's the three o'clock to check in. Yeah. But you can leave whenever you want. Yeah. After you get there at three. We haven't been timing that that stuff. I've been watching. Okay. Yeah, um, it's, it's about time. Can you get some butter? Butter and, or the, I can't believe it's not. You can do, I can't believe it's not butter. It's a little easier to peel. Um, Thursday, we're also going to stay with the Father's Day theme. Go ahead and butter your buns. Did you hear that, Sandra? Yes. We're going to butter our Some buns. Bitch. We're going to butter our buns. You like your buns toasted? You're damn right I do. <laughs> he makes me laugh after all these years. What a nut. Um, so, um, he's buttering the brioche buns. It's a little fancier than hamburger buns. You can use hamburger buns. Um, and this recipe that I'm using called for two pounds of ground beef. So there's a lot of sloppy joes. So mom, I'll drop by your house tomorrow and drop you by a sloppy joe. I'll put it separate. So it's, it'll be a nice and neat joe. How about we do that? Um, I can't see the... Oh, damn it. I don't know why this... We've got a computer and a bunch of stuff going on over here. And for some reason the... Oh, wait. 5 p.m. Pacific. You're right. I'm so sorry, Sandra. 7 Central. 7 Central. Um, 5 p.m. But I just picture like Mike Bilberry knowing oh every God. single one of those songs. Mike and Linda, you And Monica this. and Christina just having a ball with it. Um, do you ever put cheese on your Sloppy Joes? How do you do that? Well, that's a damn good question, Mike. I think I want to try that tonight. Do you want to do that? We have Jalapeno Jack. Hell yes, I want to try it. Mr. Bilberry is telling me in, in so many words to so, put... Mike, I'm thinking we make the sloppy joe open faced and then put a piece of like pepper jack on top and then broil it. Is that how I would do it? You would know. Come on, he's a chef. Yeah, he's a chef. So let me know in the in the comments so that we don't uh, make a mistake and make it all crazy. Can you say hi to my numero uno fan right there? Hello, numero uno fan. That's Henry um, Castro. Oh. Hey, Henry, how are you? Um, Nice to see you here. Um, is everybody good at your house? I had coffee with Yoli. We FaceTimed and had coffee. Um, it was nice. I didn't have to put any pants on. Yoli did because she was at work. Um, uh, Debbie better butter those buns, Kelly said. So I'm making a, a salad. As you know, I say at most shows, I am a type 2 diabetic, and I have to make sure there's something at each meal that I can really eat and get my fill with because, you know, I can have half a sloppy joe and call it a day. So I have to be really careful. So I always make sure there's a great vegetable and a wonderful um, salad usually does the trick. So I'm making one of Travis's favorite salads here. Um, this it's is Father's Day week. It's Father's Day week. We're going to continue. I think I already said this. We're going to continue this Thursday. We're going to do some slow-cooked oven ribs on Thursday. Homemade mac and cheese. And one of the easiest desserts you can think of. Root beer floats. You know, um, potato bread buns. <laughs> I've seen those. Are those good, Jeff? Jeff, you yeah, I need to try that. I've, I've tried that before, but not with this. I've never had a Sloppy Joe homemade. Um, so, yeah, let's give that a shot. Dad, Grandpa commented he's watching. That's oh, cute. Oh, hi, Jen. I mean, hi, um. Dad. Hi, Tony. I'm getting all mixed up here. I Mike Bilberry. Yeah, wait, okay, Mama said okay. she can't. Oh, my mom just said she can't wait. I'm going to pack all this up for you and bring it over to you tomorrow, Mom. Yolanda said, where's the coffee? So this is cool because, and if you're on a platform, we've got this going to three different Facebook pages and YouTube. Feel free to chat with us. As you can see, we're, we're, we're looking at your comments and we're commenting and chatting with you. This is why we set it up this way so that we can talk with you guys. Uh, Kristen said, it's almost impossible to mess something up by putting cheese on it. Right. Right. That's very true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? Sandra Vall said she has never had a root beer flow. Are you kidding? Is it because of dietary that you can't have it, or that's the weirdest thing? You've never had a root beer float? You can do a float with any kind. You can do vanilla with orange and do like an orange Julius. You can do pineapple soda Ooh. 
with vanilla, there's all kinds of things that you can do with with just ice cream, a mug, and some soda. What's the matter? Nothing. It just when I opened that steam hit me in the face. Yeah. And that chili powder and that just kind of hit me. It smells amazing, you guys, but it's just that first <laughs> waft of all right. uh, smoke. All right. So Jeff says he loves the uh, potato buns. Now, why would the potato buns be better for us than the ones made with flour? Probably just the taste, I would imagine. They're big. They're big, dense buns. I do know that. So the, all this is is spinach. This is one of Travis's favorite. I've got some strawberries. Can we go that camera? I held, I held on that when you said they're big, dense buns. Big, dense buns. Hang on, let me go up. Like this. yours. Hey, you shut your mouth. Hey, you shut your mouth. Okay. All Ooh, right. Look at that. Strawberries. Um, wash your produce before you use it. I know I've said it a million times, but with COVID, there's all these rules like, tap don't touch your packages. Oh, you can touch your packages. Don't touch the surface. Now you can touch the surface. Oh, don't touch the doorknob. Now you can lick a doorknob. They, they change all the time. So, um, so anyway, so wash your strawberries. If you're gonna eat your strawberries the same day, leave them on the counter. Let them stay at room temperature. So, um, and, and the same thing with your tomatoes, leave them at room temperature. We have a kitchen with a lot of light, so I have to remind this guy to always close this up because if there's a lot of light on your fruit basket, it'll ripen like that. Okay, so BG says she loves this salad. I'm gonna do something a little different with it today, BG. Um, BG has had this salad before too. I've made this before. So there you go with the strawberries. Isn't it beautiful already? That's gorgeous. I now we've got some feta cheese. And you can do feta. You can buy it crumbled already. You can buy it fat free. You can buy it low fat. You can buy it with herbs in it. This is just your regular run of the mill feta cheese in a brick that I went ahead and forked. I forked my cheese. Hey. I forked my cheese. That fork um, and cheese. And so um, now. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on this. Yes, it is, BG. It's very refreshing. It is a good salad. Now, this is the one you got to be careful. You didn't let me do the thing. <laughs> I'm doing it. You're, you moved, so I'm doing it. <laughs> My sister's laughing at you right now. Um, yeah, make sure your fruit basket is covered when you cook, LOL. <laughs> Love strawberries. This is a great time to buy strawberries. My daughter, Pilar, she goes, my strawberries didn't last three days in the fridge. Nobody's strawberries last that long. You can freeze strawberries. And now I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on this. Travi, can you get me the, the white balsamic? Sure, baby. I just checked them. Don't worry about my buns. <laughs> Don't burn them. I'm not gonna. Um, where, where would you have put it? Because I see white vinegar. I'm tell Oh my God. She doesn't trust me. She had to check it. Now I did have the the um, red balsamic, but I think the salad is just so light and pretty with the with the white balsamic. And BG Casas, you made a salad for me at your house with white balsamic and that's what I used. That one. And it was delicious. BG made a salad with all kinds of fruit and really fresh beans. Yes, Debbie. What? If I burn the buns, you take a drink. A burn is a burn. That's, that's the thing. That salad, oh my God, yes, Suzanne, you're right. This is the perfect complement to any sort of meat meal, a steak or pork chops. Now, yeah, oh. and here's the thing. This is spinach, you can use romaine, you can use peaches, you can use nectarines, whatever fresh fruit. Now, here's the thing. This is Travis's new favorite nut. Usually I put in, usually I put in um, pecans. And you toast mm. your nuts a little bit so they get a little nuttier. And you can do pecans, you can do use walnuts. But we got this for a Mexican salad we made um, with the Mexican cheese, and then we put this on top. These are pine nuts. You know what they kind of taste like? They kind of taste like just the good part of a pumpkin seed. It is actually a pumpkin seed, not a pine nut, I'm sorry. But it's called piñones, and it's oh. a, and they're lightly salted. I got them at Sprouts, and that's what I'm putting in here for the crunch. There you go. Mm. 
Did Mike ever write how we put the cheese on there? I think he did. Debbie, um, Debbie's with me that if a burn's a burn. Let me scroll back through these. And then Henry said something too. We added on top of the mixture at the end. So the mixture, the heat of the mixture will probably melt that cheese. Oh, do you want to give it a try? Yes. Pine nuts are so good on salads. Yes, Kelly, they are. And somehow you feel like you're doing something good for you. And it's not a big heavy crouton, but you're still getting crunch. So we got deli cheese. This is um, pepper jack, because I like pepper jack on my, on my sandwiches. Just mix it up, because I eat sandwiches a lot. Am I doing a... Um, I'm going to do a blue plate for the sloppy joe. Yeah. Do you want to come taste the salad, or you want to do it all together? Do it all together? Let me do it all together. Sure, who cares? Now the salad I'm going to make up fresh for my mom tomorrow. I have everything there. It's not the kind of salad that can actually stay all together. Anna Maria, if you're still watching, you can do this and then get a little bit of your balsamic vinegar and your olive oil in a little container and just dress it right before you eat it. So it doesn't just sit in that dressing all day long. So that's one way you can do a salad. You can also do a pasta salad for a lunch. Um, I've got ideas. Um, so Rob, uh, RJ, we do not have the tater tots. Tater tots. Okay, we ready for the buns? Mm, look at this. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it look good. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, we're almost done with the, the buns have just a little bit of a, a crisp around the edges. I think it's ready. I'm um, saying to my mom that I'm going to deliver her some food. And, you know, Travis and I often deliver food after we do a show. And we have several people in our neighborhood that um, just, you know, they're taking care of themselves and they appreciate home cooking. And so we take care of them. And um, we get disposable containers. We deliver with a mask. Um, even, it's my, even though it's my mom, I still knock on the door and I'm going to leave it right there and then run back out. You've got to be really, really careful. Mm-hmm. Hot. That's freaking hot. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, actually, let me bring this because I want to. I want to pile it on over here. Okay. Oh my god! Look at that. It's the blind leading the blind again. Hey, who cares? Can you go to this camera, big? Which one? This one. Yes. Now it's sloppy, so you gotta pile. You gotta make sure you get extra on there. Okay, back to the original. There you go. Look at you, little producing lady. Do you want to put the cheese on top now? Oh yes. <laughs> Mike, Mike told me to. Hey Mike, we're gonna try this right now. Good old Miguel with the good ideas. Boom. Those buns. Yeah, we already told you it was buttered. There you go. Okay, probably cut that, right? Let's go with a, um, I'm looking for a, you have the so, knife? this is what's for dinner tonight. We've got the strawberry salad with feta cheese and pine nuts and uh, olive oil and white balsamic vinegar, although you can use red or you can use whatever you like. And then we have the Sloppy Joe's, and thanks to Mike Bilberry's suggestion, we've got it with cheese there, and we've got deviled eggs. Um, there you go. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's. Now it's time for you to try this. Yes, let me. I'm gonna try it with the fork first because of the mixture on the side. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh, that's got a little sweet. It's got the brown sugar. And it's got a little kick. So the brown sugar, the onions, and the peppers, that's got a good kick on it. I don't know if you're going to like that. Just give it a second, because it just comes in right at the end. It's got, it's really sweet on your first taste. Yeah. And then that kick comes in. That fire. We didn't add that. Worcester. We were supposed to add Worcester to taste. But it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Oh my God, yeah. this is amazing. You can put Tabasco in. You can, you know... Um, taste as you go. And with that pepper jack cheese, mm, you're gonna try it with the pepper that's jack. That's gonna be perfect. I can't. Yeah. I'm not gonna pick that up on camera because <laughs> it is gonna fall 
It's called a sloppy Joe for a reason. It's going <laughs> to fall all over. I'm going to look horrible, but I'm going to be big, fat, and happy. So this. that's what's for dinner. My mom's recipe for deviled eggs. Remember, the secret ingredient there was curry, powdered curry. Yum. Um, and um, can we do smell vision We keep getting that. You know, Irene, I'm working on it soon. Uh, we grew up on root beer floats, usually going to Farrell's. Have you ever had a purple cow? Would that be vanilla with a grape soda? That's what I'm thinking it might be, Tyler. Um, leftover meat for tacos. Oh, my God. That's, that's so good. That's a great RJ. idea. You know what? Somebody suggested we do a, a leftover show. Was it leftover RJ? Show. I think it was, it was RJ. RJ. And then I think Sandra or Connie said the same thing to do a leftover yeah. show. Um, I'm pretty sure RJ's just trying to swindle us out of some leftover Travis talk tries it. Uh, if you were here last week, you know that we made a um, buttermilk chicken. Oh my God, it was so good. So I had some chicken thighs, and I'm doing the same process. I salted the chicken thighs, and then I dissolved some kosher salt in some buttermilk, and they're soaking in there, and we're going to roast those tomorrow. So, um, so... Mm. Uh, I'll let you know how that turns out. Um, also, I'm going to make his favorite cake for Father's Day, which is a German chocolate cake. I am not a hero. I do not make it from scratch. But I do have a way to really up your cake box recipes um, to just exchange some of those ingredients listed on the box to use to other ingredients. And these cakes come out beautiful. So I will be baking that on Saturday and we'll be posting it. So uh, join us Thursday. We're going to have um, slow-cooked ribs. Yeah, some oven-baked ribs in there. And some mac and cheese. And uh, I'll let you know when my Celebrity uh, Family Feud is going to be on. With... Wait, this is for Sandra. Hang on. Travis tries it. Travis She said, do it. Tries it. Tries it. Now tell us about the exciting news with uh, Family Feud? Oh, um, I um, was handpicked by my brother Brad Garrett to come do uh, Family Feud. Let me take a Celebrity Family Feud, and we played uh, Raymond and uh, Ray Romano and his family. His actual family. His actual family. And um, I got to play on Brad's team with a lot of other comics, and we had a ball. We had so much fun. And if you look um, at us on camera, moments before we went on, Brad said to me, switch name tags with me. So I'm wearing Brad's name tag throughout the whole show, and he's wearing mine. And it's hilarious when Steve Harvey finally realizes in the middle of the show something is off. And so we don't know because the news has been postponing. Um, family Feud, but just keep up with it. Every Sunday is a Family Feud episode with a Celebrity Family Feud. That's when we'll be on. If I find out beforehand, I will let you know. Um, They're all yelling at me to take a bite, but I need to show how this. I need to show how this cheese is. What's happening with this cheese, you guys? Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna. T I'm gonna take a bite of this. I'm caving to peer pressure. Did you try the salad? Mm -mm. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah? You're missing something if you don't eat it with this brioche bun. I think so too. You gotta have it a bite. You guys are all right. I was wrong. I was trying to be not be so messy. With that cheese, Mike, perfect addition. Hmm. That's my favorite salad. I know it is. You're not going to get another answer out of me for that I one. I know it is. Oh my God, it's so good. You guys, try this recipe. Hey, Loretta, I hope your son enjoyed it, your crazy friends. You're going to love this recipe, you guys. you got to try it. So. There's new messages coming through. Describe it. Add pickles. Oh, add pickles to the Sloppy Joes. Let's do that what? after this. <laughs> Thank you for your suggestions. Those are great suggestions. Messy, who cares? Who cares? Cooking with Do you know the words? And friends. Let's sing that one again. Cooking with Debbie. And, and friends. friends. And my friends. And my family. Cooking with Debbie. 
friends. Thank you, Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Mom. Thursday. Want to see my mom tomorrow? Oh, okay. Yeah, go see your mom.